just need some time to let my thoughts unwind. Summer's on my mind. Talk to my friends online. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my picnic blanket. I wanted to make a video about summertime activities in Seoul and I packed up my picnic. I was so excited for this. I'm ready. I have, I'll show you, but like I am prepared and I'm on the bus to the park and I don't know if you can see how black the sky looks behind me, but there is rain up in them, their clouds. I don't know if it's going to fall the second, like right before I pressed record, two bike riders went by riding their bikes in rain ponchos so i don't know so uh today what did i pack i have some watermelon i got hot tea because it's strangely cool today i feel like an ice drink would have put me over the edge to being chilly strangely enough my sunblock stick what else? i don't even really need anything else and i have a book I can't tell if that was thunder or a car. We'll find out. That's thunder for sure. Why is this woman running? Is it just gonna be like this wave of rain that's gonna hit me in a second? Because this woman is running towards me and she had just gone the other way a second ago. I'll try a beat. Ah, ne. Yeah, she's running because she heard the thunder and she's like, at this, I'm getting out of the rain. I'm staying strong. There have been days when it's thundered and it hasn't rained. That was very cute of her to tell me. <laughs> I couldn't tell if she was like waving to someone behind me. Um, okay, the pigeons seem unbothered. So I too will be unbothered. So glad I brought sunglasses for this very gray, dark day. All right, this tree will protect me. See you in a sec. I just need some time. Well guys, the air just filled with the very distinct smell of rain and the trees are going crazy, so <sighs> I'm giving up. Um, however, I'm gonna take you to the convenience store just to show you the amazing spread you can get on a not rainy day. Hmm. Apart from that I sleep, I'll hide the Fall for we could do it again. We stop talking, but you're still in my head. Oh, we just call and we could do it again. We could do it again. We could do Rain it is again. happening. Rain is happening. Fall for we could do it again. We stop talking, but you're still in my head. Oh, we just call and we could do it again. We could do it again. We could do it again. Okay, hi. So, as usual, the rain only lasted for like 45 minutes. My issue was that I thought I had just enough time to get from the convenience store to a cafe, and I did not. So, I'm gonna actually head home just because 
in case it starts raining again i'm just not into it and i have like all this stuff so i'm heading home to read my book and i'll see you guys there i just stopped and i got um mochi with fruit in it so i'm very excited and yeah I'll, I'll i'll see you later oh my god okay hi we're home that was an adventure so like i said i'm going to just kind of read the rest of the day it's also um one of my friends's last day in korea for a while so i'm gonna head out and meet her i was supposed to meet her i was like oh i'll be at the park all day i'll be in the area and um <laughs> but thank you for being here on that little journey um shout out to the sponsor of this video, by the way, to Squarespace, where you can host your online presence. I have carrycakes.net. I have been using that for many, many years as my personal blogging space because of features such as connecting your social media accounts. They have really wonderful, easy to use free templates to make your website look great. They have a comment section. They also have kind of like an email feature now, um, as well as creating like membership subscription access levels um, to your site. They have really great monetization features and they have wonderful analytics that show you where people are coming from what they're looking for on your site etc so you can go to squarespace.com right now and check it out for free play with the free templates make your website beautiful and then when you're ready to launch it to the public you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes to get 10 percent off of your first website or domain thank you so much to squarespace info will be down below i need to like go change and figure out my life so Welcome to the video. This was supposed to be a cute picnic day. Tomorrow we're gonna go somewhere. We're gonna level up our picnic and I'm very excited. So hopefully the sky got this rain out of its system. I swear, my first picnic of the summer, I knew it because there hadn't been any rain. The rainy season hadn't started and, I, and my first picnic, I did it. So I apologize guys, I started the rainy season. <sighs> I'll see ya, I'm gonna eat my, um, I'm gonna eat my little mochi. There she is. Ooh, that's a huge strawberry. Mm -mm. So I'll see you a little bit later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, 
Hello everyone. I got konguksu, which is cold soy noodles. This broth is basically soy milk. It's just so good. It's really yummy for summer. <clears throat> it's also really filling. Why am I so dark? Hello? Okay, it's also really filling. It's just really wonderful. And so this is what I'm going to have for lunch. I have some work to do. It's very hot. These are some things that I have noticed about Korean summers since we're on the topic. Something that I like, it didn't register for the first couple years I lived here, but now I really notice it, is that because of the rainy season, it's actually like a really exciting day when you can see blue sky. So even if the weather is nice and like technically not raining and like this morning was a perfect temperature gorgeous outside it was still gray and i've noticed that i get like almost a different kind of mm, it's not as intense as like seasonal depression um but it's definitely just like you miss blue sky so much and so i have a little bit right now but it's definitely just like a pocket framed by big gray clouds so that's just something to keep in mind is like really treasure those blue sky days um and then another thing that's interesting is at least where when i grew up or so i thought the hottest part of the day was like when the sun was at its peak so like noon one o'clock but in the summer here a lot of times the hottest part of the day is actually like three four um i don't know the science behind it but like walking home it's like 2 45 right now 238 right now and you could feel the temperature just suddenly jump up so um also something to keep in mind your late afternoons the cooling off period is more like six seven eight nine ten <laughs> um so yeah that is that is summer here in seoul um so anyway thank you for joining me today again i didn't speak that much because it was just so peaceful and i didn't want to distract anybody else but that was really lovely, so easy to get to. Bus drops you off right in front of the cafe, picks you up right in front of the cafe. Highly recommend, info will be down below. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat this and honestly take a nap and then do a little work. So I'll see you either later today or tomorrow where we are doing something that I tried to do last summer and it failed miserably and we're gonna do it this year, 2023, okay? Mark my words. You'll know what I'm talking about maybe tomorrow See you there. <laughs>
everything is so quiet. Um, so I didn't talk as I got here because I was, okay, okay, okay. I was a couple feet away from it and this woman <laughs> walked towards me and was like, do you know where this is? And I was like, yeah, I was you last year. So we found it together. Um, I will make a blog post about how to find it. But it was gorgeous. I'm so sorry about this bird. Gorgeous. And now that I know where it is, it's easy to find. So um, now we're going to go get some bingsu, maybe? I don't know. Um, my neighbor Maps is freaking out, so we'll see. But yeah, what a successful day. It's stunning outside. It's hot, but like gorgeous. Yeah, so I will, again, directions will be down below, but paradise. It was so quiet, so comfy. Okay, so pros and cons of the different ways you can go up the stairs. The way that I went up today had me going up the fortress wall, which is pretty and the stairs are really big and you're walking by the fortress wall. You've got this like incredible view of soul as it gets smaller and smaller underneath you. But if you go this way, it's just straight up stairs, 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 stairs in a forest. But a lot of it is in the shade versus the other one is not. It also takes you like directly to the place where it's just like left turn, walk a couple steps and you're at the rest center. So it's up to you. I kind of prefer this one because I'm more of like, let's do it like let's get the hard stuff over with as quickly as possible versus the other one is a lot more like spread out and you think you're done with the stairs and then a new staircase arrives and stuff like that so at least this like it tells you what it's going to be like you know from the bottom of that staircase that you're going to be climbing a lot yeah up to you either way though it's going to be a ton of stairs there is no accessibility so anyway i'm really testing my luck talking and walking at the same time so I'm going to stop, um, but I'll see you at the bottom. And there are tons of benches also. Little rest stops on the way up. Yeah, I'm going to focus and I'll see you at the bottom. What can you do when a girl doesn't like you? You can steal a lock of her hair and try your luck ever. You can sigh. Off of a flower, and when that doesn't work, you can just cry in the shower. Your tears circle around the train, they'll flow through the pipelines and then drift out to the sea. Then they'll get wet. Hi, friends. <laughs> So it is obviously by the sky, maybe, it's much later. Um, I knocked out so hard on the bus. I haven't done that in so long. Um, I was totally asleep on the whole bus ride, managed to get myself to a convenience store to get some ice cream and then knocked out when I got home. Um, I'm working on a book video also right now um, and I did a ton of laundry so that was sort of the whole rest of my day tomorrow morning i'm going to the book the international book fair at coex with gisela and i don't think i'm gonna film that i might make a like reel or something on my book instagram but yeah i'm i'm gonna focus on like not buying books but also i definitely am gonna buy books so that's that but then today is the 16th it is as i'm sure you know better than me um it's bts's 10th anniversary so the whole city is doing stuff even my teeny tiny park near me i thought there were like mosquito lights on like something to do with bugs for summer there were like purple lights 
it was for BTS. My tiny neighborhood park had purple lights for BTS. So it's a big deal. But apparently on Saturday, there's going to be a ton of stuff going on at Yoido. Like RM and Jungkook, I think, are going to be there. Um, so I'm not going to go anywhere near Yoido. <laughs> That's the for sure. But I'm thinking we might be able to see the firework show from Nodal Park. So that's... I'll see. I, I want to see how Kurt's feeling. That might be cute. I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, and yeah, I'm doing my... Ooh, I didn't put a timer on. Hey Siri, 15 minute timer. Thank you. I'm doing my matcha mask. I haven't done one in a while, but I really love this one. And yeah, I'm going to go back to working on my book video. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Bye. <laughs> Hi there, got my picnic chair. Um, off we go, Kurt is downstairs and we're really not sure that there's gonna be any space. We have no idea how crowded it's gonna be. See you later. <laughs> Elle balise de ses 
Hi, hello, happy Monday. It's Monday, and starting yesterday, I didn't film yesterday because I just, we'll talk about it in a second, but I just needed, needed a day. Since yesterday, we have gotten numerous emergency alerts telling us that it's gonna be way, 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 way too hot outside. This is our first like heat wave of the season. It's like 30, it's, it's 32 and it's 11 a.m. It's 11.45. So yay, <laughs> here it comes. So I um, went out early as you saw to a bookstore and I'm working on a video that I think I'm gonna actually post on this channel. I feel like for people who don't really care about my book channel, but still casually read. I think that I want to share this content for this audience. So we'll see, you might have a book video in your future, um, but I need to read all of them first. So it might be a while. Um, I actually finished this. This book was only 147 pages. So I just finished this um, while I was having breakfast in Starbucks. Very dark, but a very quick read. I recommend, I, I hate, when books are really dark, I hate to say that I enjoyed them, but this is about a girl whose sister is murdered her senior year of high school while the girl, while the little sister is a sophomore, I believe. And it's just told in three points of view, um, the little sister, a friend of the little sister, and then just another girl at school. And so it's not, we're not trying to solve the crime. We're just talking about kind of just the aftermath of it. Thought it was quite interesting. Didn't like knock me off of my feet, but um, yeah, if that sounds interesting to you. Lemon. But speaking of yesterday, why I didn't film yesterday, I needed a day off. I don't know. I'm getting good at recognizing my mood fluctuations and I kind of knew that if I tried to be on camera yesterday it would have messed up the rest of my week I kind of needed that day to just sit in my feelings and then by the end of the day like I woke up really moody oh the air conditioner isn't on I was like why am I so hot okay let's fix that yeah I just woke up kind of feeling moody my I knew that my video that I made about anxious flying I knew it wasn't going to perform like my usual videos did so I thought I was mentally prepared but something about YouTube telling you that your video is performing the worst out of the last 10 of your videos by like a long shot like they're they give you so many graphs to tell you how poorly your video is performing and it's like no matter how much you mentally prepare, you don't, it's not nice to see that. So I was just feeling like grumpy and also I had already been feeling a little meh about this video in particular. So I knew I just needed to take the day off and so Kurt took me on a little bike ride. He's teaching me how to use the electric bikes, which I don't love but I'm getting used to them. So we were just like out, I read a book um, in a nice little cafe while Kurt worked. Then I came home and I read, I read a Alan Watts book, which I don't recommend. I read, it's called like The Book. Um, I like his other work more, but something about like, I was just laying on the bed, reading a book about contemplating the self and like, what is the self and like I was laying directly under the air conditioner and I put on a playlist of it was like nostalgic summer nights and it just had these songs that I hadn't heard in a while it turned my mood around like this so I would recommend if you are feeling any type of way and like I know this as a coping mechanism I know that this works every time I just don't know why I don't do it more regularly if you have Spotify or even just on YouTube look up playlists that are the top songs from every single year like you were in high school or you were in middle school or college like whatever years you have like fond memories of I just went through and I listened to the top songs from 2006 to 2010 and I had such a good time. Literally, I just had my headphones on laying in bed underneath the air conditioner listening to like 
Flo Rida, and I was having the time of my life. I think that because I haven't been walking um, because of <clears throat> because of the heat and the rain, I haven't been listening to music and I haven't been listening to different music. I need to stop this, but I have been using the Spotify like on repeat playlist where it tells you like what songs have you been listening to constantly on repeat. I've just been listening to that. So it's like I'm listening to the same 10 songs over and over and over again for like the past three months. And something about last night, like Mr. Brightside came on and I was like, oh my God, why don't I listen to music that isn't these five songs? And, and I just... Yeah, I felt really good. And then today, on my way back from Starbucks, I was listening to Aurora and then it just started doing like, um, suggested, like, if you like Aurora, you'll like this. And so what were the songs that I... Dragonfly by Faunus, and then In the Eyes of Our Love by Yumi Zuma. I would say if you're feeling stale, if you're feeling blah, try to look at your weekly recommended, what's that called? Your For You playlist or whatever. It helped me get out of a funk. Like I said, summer, I have like a different kind of negative emotion in summer. It's different than what I feel in winter. That's why for this video, I tried to do my like outdoor checklist before things got crazy. And look, the last day of me filming, we're not allowed to go outside because it's so hot. So um, good timing, I think. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here. Today I am going to be subtitling a video for my book channel and then I'm actually gonna write a blog post with photos for how to get to that library thing, um, the rest center that I went to and I got lost going to the first time. I'm going to put that up there as well. So once again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Um, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain and I will link my website down below with the blog post that I will be working on today. I would say like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the vibes were not where I needed them to be, but I feel like I'm back and I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. So yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bleh. Thanks so much for watching. So I will see you when I see you. Love always. Hope you're staying cool or if you're in winter right now, hope you're staying warm. Bye. <laughs>